I'm Jeremy Lucchini, host of Let's Go Design, your SolidWorks interactive web series. This is the final episode of the Hot Rod Baby Buggy. Today, dads will reign supreme on the sidewalks and mothers will run for cover. In the last episode, I asked some of my team members to do a sanity check on the buggy before final production. In this episode, I'll show you the innovative steering solution we ended up using, as well as the tracking alignment to keep our treads from falling off. Let's talk about a few of the goals we set up for ourselves at the beginning of this project. We wanted it to be all-terrain, motorized, and it needed to fit on the sidewalk. And it had to be cool and fun. Oh yeah, it had to be safe for the baby, which of course, it is. Before we started this project, I knew a lot about hot rods, but nothing about baby strollers. I had a lot to learn. The custom tank treads were the signature piece of this project and a major design challenge. The golf cart axles originally made our buggy footprint too wide, so using SolarWorks, we recreated a design and our rapid prototyping machine created a great sample that proved it would all work. The aluminum treads were cut by one of my partners, E.T. Duval Metals. We took a really interesting tour of their shop in episode number four. There was a ton of work that went into this design. Every one of these individual parts, other than the bolts, were built in SolarWorks. You can see all of the detail here in these awesome technical illustrations that were created in 3D via Composer. It's even cooler when you see the real thing. Let's go check it out. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Let's see if we can change all that. This is our Global Communities version of a hot rod baby buggy. It's awesome. Let me show you what my buddy Mark Gibson designed. For the steering, we've got the potentiometer connected to this link system, runs all the way up to the joystick handle. And with a buried micro switch in here, it allows us to go from forward, neutral, to reverse without taking our hand off the joystick. From the design review meeting that the guys had, they came up with a great solution for us to keep the tracks from slipping off. And that was to add these shark teeth per each track shoe, goes around the hub correctly, feeds into the guide rail system down off the bogey wheels. Child labor laws prevent us from using a real baby for this demonstration, so we're just gonna rock and roll. Well, that's it for this project on Let's Go Design. Stay tuned as we next show how SolarWorks has helped product designers bring their ideas to life. If you want to see the baby buggy up close, it will be on display at this year's SolarWorks World Conference.